So in this video, we're going to learn that how to create the sale orders or how to convert quotations or quotes into a sale orders. So in the last video, we create this quote that we need uh, that we have that 20 pieces that is the quantity of keyboard and the price is this 30. So we need to convert this quote of this customer carry for into a sale order. So how we do that? You can click on this task and in task we have this quotes in sale orders. So click on the quotes. You can use these arrow keys to search for the previous transactions or you can click on this list to open the list of all the quotes which we created. <laughs> so click this option the list. So right now we have only one quotation or only one quote. The customer ID is 100. In the month 8 August that is a date. That is a quote number and that is the amount of co uh, that quotation, the quote and it is still not converted and it is the customer carry for. So if you double click, the same quotation or the quote is open. So here we have this option to convert. So you can, can convert this quotation or the quote to a sale order. So if you click it, you want to continue? Yes. Look, we have this option. The prospect will now be can changes to a customer because in the customer creation, we make this carry for as a prospect. And now it's sad because we are making a, a, that sale order right now. So you're attempting to make a sale or sale order proposal or issue a credit uh, memo to a prospect. So that prospect will be now changes to a customer. So I want to do that. So press OK. Now convert this code into a sales invoice directly or you want to convert this code sale invoice and print now or you want to do convert into a sale order. So I want to convert into a sale order and you can give here the sale order number. Let's suppose we have 140 but you can make this sale order number automatic voucher numbers also. So we are making this 140 and then press ok when i press ok it will give us this message that if you go here look it gives us this message message that this code is converted so this is how you will create a sale order or you can convert a code into a sale order in sage 50 accounting and if you want to check the uh, that uh, the reports you can click on this reports and form in the reports and form we have this account receivables in account receivables this report that is related with that quotations and now because it is converted into a sale order you can check here the sale order register so right now we have one sale order the number is 140 and the amount is 77,300 so this is our sale order register for the company Burhan Electronics. Close it and that is a sale order reports. Double click. It shows the report with the product wise with the item wise that how much we ordered, how much we shipped right now, nothing and what is the quantity remaining all of them right now. So this is our sale order report and that is a sales wrap uh, reports. Like here we have different reports but these two or this one that is for the goods re uh, register the quotation register that is for the sale order journal it will show us with the debit and the credit wise that is a sale order register with whatever like with all your customers how many sale order we issue to how many customer so you can check that in the sale order register and that is a sale order report this is sale order journal with the debit and the credit. That credit is this much, the debit is 77,300. So this is how we create the sale order in Sage 50.